buzz in the air in the sold-out arena here in downtown Minneapolis, taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, to this broadcast of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. To the inside. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Pass to Bridges. Shot clock at six. The Suns need to get a shot off. Crowder. Jay Crowder. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Well, we expect to see Sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And, but with the way the game is played today, we can see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Finish off the break. So shifty with the ball in his hands. Russell changes pace with the best of them. Pulls up on the wing. Leaps for it. That's short off the rim. You're not going to see that very often. Oh, look out! Goodness. Look out! Wow. Okay, I see you. Rudy Gobert, look at this. And what a creative finisher. Edwards is so fast in how he gets up to throw it down. Now here's Paul. The kick out to Crowder. Booker up top. Shot clock at five. And Phoenix turns it over. Career assist, second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. That's his second basket. He's two for two. And proving to be a prolific score from anywhere on the floor. That's a gimme for Towns. Here's Booker. Looking to end the run. And the layup is good. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. Left side, Crowder. Suns moving the ball around. For three, Booker. No good on the shot. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Crowder with the steal. On the wing, Booker. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Five to shoot. No good on that one. Timberwolves leading by eight. Towns for three. Offensive rebound over Paul. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Town. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And he uses the glass on the layup. I don't think the Timberwolves, Greg, plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. And that's kind of the beauty of this squad. They're out to make new franchise history. Not focusing on the past. Just keep evolving as a team. Suns trail by eight. Out to Sharch. Reed with the rebound. And the Timberwolves with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Noel. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And Phoenix has possession. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Pass to Shamit. Lock at six. Now Johnson. McDaniels defended. The 
shot by Johnson, no good. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. Suns trail by eight. Now here's Payne. Second shot opportunity. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. In the corner, Crowder with it. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. For three. Crowder's got five now. Few create shots as easily as Paul does for his teammates. He is just a great setup guy. And so Aiton will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. It's a five-point game. Here's Booker. Bridges outside. Back to Booker. Goes to the fadeaway and cans it. Assisted. The pure shot mechanics of Booker. It's fun watching him shoot the ball. Mikhail Bridges has found a groove the last couple of years. Five years removed from college, and he's become a full-time starter. Pass to McDaniels. And stolen by Booker. And stolen by Prince. Poke loose. Bridges with the steal. Unable to get that one. Prince with the defensive effort. Minnesota leading by three. Crowder with the steal. It's stolen. Paul with the steal. Booker outside. Bridges outside. I got yours. I got yours. Paul right side. Just five on the clock. Phoenix no good that time either. And about Mikael Bridges, just how good can he be? He's got the power to beat you off the dribble inside. Certainly likes to attack the paint, but he can also spot up and beat you from beyond the arc. Pass to Booker. It's Crowder on the wing. Aiton trying to break free. Here's Paul to the paint. Here's Crowder. First trip to the line. How about last thing? He made about 79% of his attempts. Well, guys, look, the Phoenix Suns ended the regular season on a high note last year. They finished first in the Western Conference, a feat they hadn't accomplished in a bit of time. In 2004, the Phoenix Suns clinched the top spot in the Western Conference, and they're about ready to do it again. Yeah, and that was the Steve Nash, Amari Stoudemire days, and that was practically mm. two decades ago. But the Suns have earned this top spot. They've been putting in the hard work with this young core and grinding out all these games. Six, seven seconds left. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Two minutes remaining in that. Two minutes. And that one clearly a foul gets the West Town fame. Uh, I mean, they give you energy. You, you don't dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Pass to Forbes. And here's Gobert. Timberwolves passing it around. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Timberwolves lead by six. And the bulk of Gobert's offense is going to come down low. Even if the D knows that, it can still be tough to stop. They get it again. And here's Payne. Charge in the corner. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Three-second violation. Minnesota leading by six. to go bear and they're running Shamit now Payne a three ball go bear pulls it in 
Rivers with it. Now guarded by Payne. Towns. And he banks in the layup. Towns has got the lead up to eight now for the Timberwolves. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Back to Johnson. The shot misses. And Minnesota now the other way. 32 seconds left from the first half of the game. Forbes can't get it to go. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you gotta make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. Rivers in the corner. Inside. Gobert. Right through the contact. Gobert's added so much strength since being drafted back in 2013. It's helped all facets of his game. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Minnesota on top. Suns trail by 11. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. Pass to Reed to the middle. Looking for McDaniel. He gets it there. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Here's Booker. Kicks it out to Paul. Back to Booker. Six to shoot. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Booker's got six points. Throw out those analytics. When Booker's taking a 15, 20 footer, that's a great look for him. And his assist. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Bridges shot. Good. And from long range, Bridges getting more and more comfortable taking and making his share of three levels of playing field. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And, Kevin, you could tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long, and by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. Now Paul. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Goes back up. DeAndre and Ayton with the layup. Nice pass. Such a good he tell the growth ends. That time Booker showing us his vision. How you are playing team offense. Bridges outside. Back to Ayton. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Pass to Reed. And they call the foul, so a chance at the same. And quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to change the culture with Monty Williams. Great job by the front office. They have put in so much young talent, and they have coached them up. They are a complete team. And like I said, how much time you got? We could do this all day. We could indeed. Devin Booker. A nice shot by Booker. Calls the play and Booker executes to perfection. Down low. Here's Reed. And there's a nice one-handed slam. j -Mac with the assist. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. One forty-six left here in the third quarter. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. 
This is why he's out there in situations like this. Yeah. This guy went 13th overall. What a steal. Shooting Plus, Brook was the fourth guy taken from Devin his own Booker. college. I think that put a giant chip on his shoulder. Fueled Devin to the all-star he is today. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first-round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot riding on it. No good from Booker. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Suns trail by 16. Shot on the wing. Payne can't hit. And here's Forbes from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Forbes has got his first three points of the game. Proving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. For three, Booker. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Basket good. Forbes has got five points so far. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, and that's made a huge difference. They're making the most of the chances on the break. Transition buckets decide more games than people think. To the inside, McDaniels. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Oh, the and game. 13 foul. It's stolen by Sharp. Substitution for the Suns. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. To the paint. Here's Gobert. And no issues at the rim for Gobert. One of the league leaders and flushes. The Frenchman loves to finish above the rim. Pass to Crowder. It's stolen by Gobert. Russell with it. Now guarded by Aiton. And they pick up two. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Minnesota. Paul looking around. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Chris Paul. In the paint, Paul always stays nimble. That allows him to make adjustments that needed to beat the D. Russell with a wide open look. And again, Minnesota with the triple. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. Left side, Anderson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Russell high post. Anderson outside. Has to go bare. Six on the shot clock. And slam dunk by Gobert. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Paul's shot is off. And now the Timberwolves on the break. That bucket in in no time at all. Russell's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they Land are in sync. Three. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Russell, the open look. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Russell with it. He's picked up by Paul. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. Shoots the three. And it's Shamit with the rebound. Now here's Paul. 
Pass to Aiton. Shamit on the wing. That three off the mark. And here are the Timberwolves. They're on a 14-5 run here. Anderson outside. Here's Towns. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And one of the offensive forces in the league. When Towns wants to score, it is really hard to keep him from his spots. Russell with it. Chris Paul covering. Shamit with the steal. Over Russell. The shot's good from Paul. Paul. Paul's got four points in the quarter. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Timberwolves. Two great rebounding teams. And, and these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Rudy Gobert. Oh, he was at the center of everything that happened in this game. His energy was felt throughout the building, and his impact, well, it was incredible. Here's Paul. Again, the miss by Paul. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. And it's Towns missing. 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. Lays it up off the glass. Chris Paul. Even in the later stages of his career, Paul's handles remain incredible. He's got that thing on a string. What a move. And here's Anderson for three. No good that time. The Suns go the other way with it. Shamit with it. Guarded now by Anderson. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Can't nail the jump. Towns for three. Paul with the ball. Inside. Puts up a three. It's off. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a...